Good day! I'm Max Lewin and I'm just having a jolly time with the Wanduin win. With that is, has been updated since last time we looked at it. Mainly fixing the curve and also on top of that putting a lot of more fun stuff from GVG in there. Especially Moga the Ogre. I am really hoping that we can get that one out on the board. That is will probably be a fun time. I mean he's pretty safe from our from being getting killed by the, the opponent's minions because well his ability to just throw them away. Also, this board seems even it's against the shaman. Can't be the worst to keep Mo House Mana Storm. Right? Right? Except if this is some kind of Ancestor's Call deck. Then that would be awful. Which means we are going to keep it, obviously. If it's a, if it's that too, we should probably keep the mind games too. We have actually this is a this is all the first four turns. Actually, let's just keep that. This is a per perfect hand. Turn one, two, three, and four. If I, I, at least we don't have to uh, react to anything. And the turn five. Interesting. I was already thinking that he may earth shock this one, but I feel like that is a bit of that's rather that's rather well what what can you say? It's not isn't that a little bit overreacting to that? I mean it's just one X2 HP to some minion. Right? It's not going to nothing's going to happen because of that. Also a hunter creeper, so he doesn't have anything. Huh, we actually got away with that. I ha who had thought? Well, then the mind games. <laughs> mm, not the worst. Let's hit him in the face. I mean, he can go for he can go for the um, plus the attack on this haunted creep and kill my four four. But oh, wait, that's fine. He can also do that with the death rattle stuff anyway. So can't see anything that is changing because of that. So kill that. I'm thinking knife juggler and the matter bomber. And this seems perfect. And knife goes nowhere where we want them. Oh well, you can trade sadly this way. Well, whatever. We still have a decent board, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, the trading is obvious, right? Kill my Millhouse Mana Storm and his Harvest Golem. And then play something for five. Something like a Slotch Belcher. He should have that, right? Pretty sure. Let's knife to the face. A short Dwayne. Yeah. That is also something that we see rather often. We could go in here and then go for a Mad Bomber, but that seems not like that is going to happen. We could go for a 6 damage, then this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that should be possible to go with the Mad Bomber here. But we could also just play it safe this way and be boring. And he, I mean, he ha hasn't really had the best opening hand, to be honest. He hasn't really played that much. I mean, I, even with this deck, I've been able to pretty much deal with anything that he threw down. So he's got to have something for a lot of mana. Like this fire elemental, right? Oh. <laughs> That's a little bit of healing. For me. We could go for a Tink Master, that seems awfully stupid. No so let's go for this. Let's just keep it hitting me in the face, really. Could also have traded in a Matter Bomber, maybe. Tries on that with one, two, three, four targets. That doesn't seem like that would actually be possible. So that seems to be the better choice here. And yeah, sadly that happens. And Antique Healbot, interesting. <laughs> he 
he's... Is it that? Quackle. Okay. So, we only have this heal now. That seems rather... That's sad. Well, we can go for Pallet Skull Golem. Per per perfect top decking here and here. If you have a deck full of just the best stuff possible, there's no nothing like top decking. It's just drawing cards, as someone said. Well, yeah. Also with a deck so as stupid as this one. If you need something random to happen, this deck is really going to deliver that. <laughs> so what are we going to get? Huh. Well, at least it was a legendary find. Yeah, the puns. The puns. Okay. One in five. Oh, uh, not one in five. One in two. And perfect. Go for that. And a mad bomber. Probably killing both of these. Probably killing one of them. Perfect. <laughs> I have actually been really lucky throughout this whole game. This is really, really nasty and <laughs> really, really nasty really, to be honest. Okay. Actually hit him in the face, that would be cool. Okay, that's okay. Hmm. Could go in both times and then Tink Master Overspark. That seems... no. And this would be... Yeah. We would probably be able to kill him with a Matter Bomber. Right. Whoa. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a very valuable trade for him then. I see you. And a taunt too, so we cannot even hit him in any way. Oh! Four cards, so maybe we can even get Wagnoras ourselves. That seems like an awfully good idea. So mind control take it is. Hmm, gets some card draw, but that doesn't seem like the worst. And heal ourselves. We could also tank master, but it would probably hit me more than him. And I have some feeling like I should. Uh, the lock has really left me. Even though I'm getting all the card draw here, I'm not so sure if I should just keep on doing this. Just doing the stupid stuff. Yeah, that seems like a fine way. Just removing everything as it seems. Yeah. Actually, how do we with this deck in deal with such a massive board? I mean, we have a knife juggler and then we can also throw down some minions here. With the thought steal and whatever we play. Oh, we get here, but that's six, right? Yeah, we can do this. Flame Tongue and Rock Biter, cool. Well, not really so sure if I should Rock Biter into his face. Seems that seems awfully bad. Let's just Tink Master actually. And that didn't help really. Well, shit. <laughs> well, if we have to survive in some way, we have to do this. He has us dead, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, it doesn't seem like it. he's going to draw cards. But it has still plus two, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's... Quite a board to deal with. I'm not so sure if we should maybe... Ah, okay. <laughs> well, the deck knew what we have wanted. Should have taken the knife juggle out first. Also, that is cool. There we go. Yeah, we could have gone with one extra knife, so that was a misplay, to be honest. Should have taken the knife juggle down first. Didn't really think that whole turn through, sadly. I'm just playing too fast. Okay. Even more minions. That seems fine. 
somewhat. And now silencing that one too. Oh, Hex. Interesting. I'm not so sure if... Yeah, I, yeah, it probably was the scariest target, uh, target of them all. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, at least now we can get through all the taunts with this Ogre Brute, but still. Yes, heal that one, because then he cannot... Then he would have to sack both of these in to kill the Drake and cannot just hit kill one of them with one of them. So I think that his trading will be more favorable for me this way. I'm thinking. And is he I mean he was thinking about killing my 3-3, really. I've got the beast in my side. Okay. You don't think I have anything uh, scary? <laughs> Well, you're right. Damn. As, wait, what? what is that last card? I mean, if it's silence, I, that would be beneficial for me, right? Kind of see why he would do that. Kill. Kill. Don't know if I want to recombo up you later that just to get that extra body on the board. I'm thinking. Yeah, it's probably if we want to stay in this game, we probably have to do that. Oh. That's useful. <laughs> well then uh, kill that one. Obviously. I'm thinking that is more important so that we can trade better. Can he kill us because of that? Because of that extra spell damage? Oh, yeah, he can. Damn, I should have taken the other one. Don't don't know what I was thinking. And we don't have any mi other mind control text, right? But we have a matter bombers. If we have to die, at least let's see if we can die with style, shall we? Okay, yes. One minion down. Two minions down. And one for me. That's... I'm actually still alive with this. Huh. Well played. <laughs> oh. Boo. That's not fun. That seems awfully useful. Oh well, we're dead. At least, at least we got all the way down to 10 cards or something like that. And we have already lost games and gotten a golden mind vision that is the most important thing of them all <laughs> should we just change it out for the golden ones nah Im unimportant unimportant let's just fo stay focused on the games and let's see if we can get something like a control warrior that would be actually be fun because the control warriors have so many high-end cards that the mind games would be really interesting I mean I, I am hoping for something similar to the Malganis thing that we just had <laughs> Ah, damn. Microphone, stay in place. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Cho, cool. Uh, Brute, Mind Games, Bomb Lobber. Okay, M Bomb Lobber out, everything else seems awful. Oh, not awful. Also, yeah, they are awful, but awesome in some way too. So Cho, Brute, Ogre maybe? Yeah, we don't have any turn to play in any other way, so we should probably go for that. Murlocs. Interesting. So this is a hyper aqua deck, so we need the Mad Bomber. And the Law Walker Cho won't really do anything. Because he may only have a soul have a soul fire. I'm sorry. So let's end our turn and go for coining an ogre, maybe. That seems more useful here. Yeah? And we have to keep him down, we have to go for the ogres. Even though this may be very unreliable here. Yeah? Oh, damn. Okay, please, map bomber, actually. That would that would be very good. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for. Well, we will ha sadly have to go for a trade like that one. Or he will... P to be honest, he will probably just keep hitting me in the face. He is a murloc. Uh, warlock anyway, so... He's full-on aggro. He cannot really afford trading in any way. 
He can't. Oh. Well, it helps him and it helps me. Because we got the mind control tech. So... Ah, okay, fair enough. No mind control tech, as it seems. So, another one. If that, if that has to happen, then he will probably go to it again. That at least saves me from all the damage that he's dealing to me, so that's fine. Then we can follow this up with either two mind visions. That could be funny. I mean, we can probably play whatever he has in his hand after that anyway. <laughs> yes, uh, com with only cards with that of three mana or less, really. So, that shouldn't be a problem. We could also just thought steal. Ouch. That's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to. We, we're going all the way down to 8 by turn 3. Yeah, as I said, come full on aggro. And you didn't even want to circumvent any taunts. Damn you. Oh yeah, oh, this one too. Will it keep me alive? No, it won't. Damn, what else did he have in his hand? Ah, old Murkai. Well, he's probably going to Batman and kill me with that, so that's fine. I mean, has one attack for each other minion, so one, two, three, so that's five, right? Plus, what else? Plus two, so that's, okay, ten in total. Well. So it doesn't even want to kill me with it. Just wants to play it and show off. Yes, of course. And 13, we are going. That's probably not. That's probably the worst rank to play at with this deck. 13. Damn. Well, this is going to be interesting. Ah, mage. Interesting. As long as it's at least not a mech mage, we are fine, really. He can deal... He has a hell of a lot uh, of... Um, damn, where did that word go? Board control, thank you. But on the other hand, he will have... Also... Um, we will. He will also be much slower, so we can have a lot, a lot much more interesting game than just be getting killed at turn 4. Okay, seems like an aggro deck to me. Some of the more old school ones. I don't have enough mana. Sh I'm. Yeah, I don't really want to go for a knife juggler here, but because he will probably no, it will actually trade anyway. Even if he buffs it up, it's going to trade. He can frostbolt it though, but if he is aggro, the frostbolt is actually going to be the benefit for me, except for the fact that this one can still snowball. But he doesn't. He's at least thinking about going for fire blasts into my knife juggler. What to do? What to do? Okay. Fair enough. I guess you should never really ask uh, or uh, question a, a mage if they about the fact if they have a frost bolt. Just like you shouldn't really be surprised when the control warrior has a fiery war axe. They always have that. And a half skull, yes. Well, what's on three play do we have anyway? Nothing. Well, Millhouse Mana Storm, that's going to be very interesting, won't it? I mean, he has just played one spell, right? But uh, against a mage, I'm really not keen on that. And if we should play Millhouse Mana Storm, and then at least it turns seven or eight, maybe. Where we can then at least just give him infinite fireballs with a. Uh, um, oh, it's a mech, mech, mech mage. Death rattled one. Very interesting. Sadly, it's not going to. Oh! Cool. So at least that one is not going to uh, s snowball anymore. On the other hand, we don't. We cannot buff it with anything. Oh, yeah, well, we have Sylvanas as the only one, but. That won't help us in two turns, and at that point, that one is dead. But still, 
That seems... This seems much more reasonable as a board. You can get back from this. We have a lot of healing with the... So, as long as we can just survive the first, maybe... Next four turns or something, then we should probably... He should probably at least run out of steam. I'm thinking. Page raiding away, that seems cool. So two one mana creatures. That seems awfully cool. For a map. Here we go. And killing one of them. Killing two of them. And hell killing me too? Oh, that is actually the best thing that could have happened. I mean... The other three could also have gone into this one. That would maybe also have been good in some ways. Yeah, it would actually have been the best outcome. But this is the other best, I think. I mean, using some of the, on his face instead of just going uh, a little bit on the pilot shredder. Either full on or just a little bit on his face. No matter what we have now... We could go for mind games, hope we can get his uh, Antonidas. I'm thinking. But we don't have any spells to uh, get him working, so maybe we should go just go for a bomb lover here. I'm killing one of them and trading with the other, that seems cool. And the other two drops should... Yeah, it should probably also have two, two uh, HP. That's, I think, something that is... That's probably the... Uh, yeah, the general thing that they have to to HP. Yeah, for two mana cost creature. Yeah, that seems fine. So that is probably a duplicate or a mirror entity. So that's a duplicate, right? So if I heal this and kill that then... Yes, it was a duplicate. I, I, I'm just thinking I can deal be much better with all these bombers with these 2-1-1s, one ones, uh, two ones, so... Yeah, I'm, that, I think that is the better trade here. Oh, Fireball used on that and not on my face. Well, then he p surely has Antonidas. Oh, that's fine. And goes for the face. Well, we have to heal from now on each turn. Cannot really afford anything else. And maybe a minion on the board wouldn't be bad too. Thought steel could also be useful. I, I mean, a lot of the, his stuff should be three or less. So we should be able to play it. Also, no matter what, we can play something. So, mech warper and that is a good body. So, let's just... Play that next turn. I'll show them. I'll show them and if he plays one more, we can go for mind control tech. And now he just smells blood, as we can see. And he's actually going to play one more. No, he's not. Okay, that's sad. Well, we could see if we can get another Murkai out of it. <laughs> I'm not... Though... I mean, how much damage does he have on the board anyway? That's 6, so 7. So we're not dead. We're surely not dead. So we go for mind games. Come on, Antonidas. That is... Not really the best. We could have gone for that on Sylvanas, maybe, but nah. That's one mana, right? What else? That's... Well, we could recombobulate to that. That seems fine. It will probably be better than that. Well, it's, it's, a, it's somewhat better. I mean, he will, it will be a 2-1 when he has kitted with one of them. And... Mechwarper. Okay, so now the mind control tech should probably work. No, he's actually going to trade. Guess he knows what deck we're playing. Okay, he's not. He's not anticipating the man control tech. Oh, he just doesn't care. I, either things would probably be fine. We could also... Yeah, actually, this combo seems more than fine to me. I just realized that. That six mana will kill a lot of his stuff. I'm thinking. 
Okay. You think we want to kill that one? That seems... Huh. Well, then this is going to be a one really good type play here. Yeah? Probably is surely going to kill that. Or is it... It's only four damage. So we may not be able to uh, get it working. But I'm thinking that it will probably be better. We can also go for one in three to get one of the max. Will that also work? That's this is going to be... Yeah, we can also do that. So mind control check first. Getting not the one we want, so we're going for the mech warp anyway. And wait, which one did he get? Oh, that one. And well, we kill them. Cool. And young priestess. This may actually be a turnaround, except that he can go for fireball. That would be then 10 there. So he would have us dead with a fireball. <coughs> Sorry. And no fireball. I mean, if we can survive this one turn, I think we can trade ourselves into a very good position. Oh, and he's going to trade, so he's, he hasn't us dead yet. That's cool. That's really good. And the Blast Mage is not... He's going to kill, sadly, one of them, but that's fine. He can still trade out. Just this way. That seems fine. And kill... Yeah, this way too. Still, first thing first. Healing ourselves. Just try and get out of any range that he can kill us with. Even though he has already used one fireball, so he cannot go for both of them. So, this should do, right? He's down to 16, and we are at 12. He has one fireball, he still has some ice lances if he has that. I mean, you could probably go for an ice lance because of the frost bolts and also because of the emergency coolant. So, I wouldn't be that surprised. If that should be the case. Um, we should probably still keep healing ourselves. But I'm just thinking about trading would probably be better. But then we're not going to heal ourselves. So we probably have to do this. Sadly. I'm not so sure if I should go for Millhouse. I mean, he, uh, he, can, he still has an Ant Antonidas. And he has a 10 mana. So he can even trigger it. And kill us immediately. We can do that just next turn if he doesn't play anything, so... <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Boom! Huh. Very interesting. Armor plating, also very interesting. Once again... Huh. I mean, what does he actually want to do with... Ah, okay, he's just playing his whole hand, fair enough. We actually won with this deck. That is really interesting. How did we do that? <laughs> and even at 13. I mean, I'm not superstitious, but still. <laughs> well, it seems like 13 is my lucky number. Thank you for watching. See ya.